Look out below! Seagulls in Alaska are carrying antibiotic resistant E. coli. You can run, you can hide, but you cannot escape the wrath of the birds or their poop. That's basically what a group of scientists in Alaska are warning after studying seagull droppings at landfills along the Kenai Peninsula. In findings published in November, they've discovered a strain of E. coli bacteria proven to be superior to human-developed antibiotics. When antibiotics are ingested, they pass through our bodies and get flushed down the toilet into the sewage system. However, water treatment plants aren't designed to treat antibiotic residues, allowing them to make their way into the environment. Bacteria in the environment then come into contact with the antibiotic residues, and over time, they become resistant to them. Animals who hang out in places of high human activity, like seagulls, then contract the E. coli and rain terror down upon us. The researchers from the United States Geological Survey aren't sure the E. coli found in the seagull fecal matter can be transmitted to humans, but they are certain that humans are the cause of these infections in the birds. In the United States, the CDC reports 2 million illnesses and 23,000 deaths are caused each year by drug-resistant bacteria. Worried about being exposed to E. coli? Here are four places you may want to avoid. You could be spreading disease by using your cell phone in the bathroom. Bacteria found in restrooms can be transferred from hands to cell phones if you're not careful. According to hygiene experts, wiping your butt, then touching your phone, or really anything else, can lead to the spread of salmonella, E. coli, and C. decephalae. You might as well not even wash your hands. CDC releases annual poop in pool report. With Memorial Day weekend around the corner and May 23rd marking the start of Healthy and Safe Swimming Week, the Centers for Disease Prevention and Control have released what's become an annual warning about swimming pools. The poop in the pool report is out, and it's gross. According to the report, which is based on 2013 findings, most inspections of public aquatic venues, almost 80 percent, identified at least one violation. After reviewing data on 84,187 routine inspections of 48,632 public aquatic venues where people swim, one in eight inspections resulted in immediate closure, and one in five kiddie or wading pools were closed. The 2013 report found that 59 percent of the pool filter samples tested contain Pseudonomus aeruginosa, which can cause skin rashes and ear infections. Plus, 58% tested positive for E. coli, bacteria normally found in, well, poop. And if your eyes have ever stung after you've gone swimming, it's usually because chlorine had mixed with poop, pee, sweat, and dirt from swimmers' bodies. Yuck. Chipotle E. coli outbreak infects 39. United States health officials are investigating the cause of a toxic bacterial outbreak traced to Chipotle restaurants that has infected 39 people and hospitalized 14. A strain of E. coli has infected 29 people in Washington state and 10 in Oregon state. The strain has been identified as E. coli 026. This strain is less dangerous than others such as the 0157H7 strain that killed four children in the 1990s. Health officials suspect the latest outbreak in Chipotle restaurants came from contaminated fresh produce but are still trying to find its source. The 026 strain produces Shiga toxin, which causes illness three to four days after consumption. People usually develop stomach cramps or diarrhea. However, some may develop more severe symptoms, leading to a type of kidney failure called hemolytic uremic syndrome, or HUS. Symptoms for HUS include unexplained bruises or bleeding from the nose and mouth, as well as fatigue and fever. Meanwhile, Chipotle has voluntarily closed all of its Washington restaurants and some in Oregon. But the outbreak doesn't seem to be bothering many online. Asherina says she would die happily if it were while eating Chipotle, while Noelle says that it would take more than a little E. coli to stop her eating at Chipotle. And Amanda A says that having just read about people contracting E. coli, she's now hungry for some Chipotle. But what about you guys? Would a potentially killer bacterial outbreak stop you from eating at your favorite restaurant? Research finds that E. coli and MRSA bacteria can survive for days on planes. 
A study by researchers at Auburn University has revealed that potentially deadly bacteria such as E. coli and MRSA can survive for days inside planes, including on seats, tables and window shades. Scientists inoculated actual plane seats, seat pockets, armrests, tables, window shades and toilet flushes with MRSA and E. coli bacteria. They then simulated the conditions of a pressurized cabin at 75 degrees Fahrenheit and 20% humidity. The MRSA bacteria was found to be able to survive seven days on a cloth seat pocket, six days on a leather seat and rubber armrest, five days on window shades and tables, and four days on a metal toilet flusher. Meanwhile, E. coli survived four days on a rubber armrest, three days on a table, and two days on the metal flusher. Researchers discovered bacteria could survive more easily in porous material as they are protected from dehydration, UV and disinfectants. However, such material also made the bacteria harder to transfer. Bacteria on non-porous surfaces such as tables, flushes and window shades were much more easily transferred. Michael Schmidt, a professor of microbiology and immunology at the Medical University of South Carolina, said the best thing people can do to protect themselves when flying is to bring sanitizer to clean their hands before putting anything in their mouths.